Hi guys, as many students are asking to discuss about the concept of data interpretation, today here uh, we came up with a series of data interpretation topic. When uh, we are talking about data interpretation, there are four different types of questions will be asked in exam. One is based on pie chart, next one based on line graph, next one based on bar graph and the finally based on tabular graphs. Okay, it's not about one particular student, even if you want any particular topics to be discussed, please post your uh, topic names in the comment box, we'll try to make a video. Without any delay, let's get started. Now, here we have taken the question from data interpretation, I mean from the particular pie chart question. Now, it's all about analysis in the picture, okay, the way how you are going to analyze the picture is all depends on the questions that you can solve. Let's try to analyze the picture. Here, this is completely based on pie chart. Okay, as I said, when you are solving any particular questions on pie chart, okay, there are two ways of giving data. One is based on percentages and next one based on degrees because when we are talking about circle, so it is completely based on 360 degrees. Very simple logic guys. Here, if you observe, the pie chart given below represents the budget estimated by a family for their monthly expenses. So, the total salary is 32,000 per month. Now, if you observe here, yeah, let me take here, if you observe, 32,000 is a monthly salary. Now, they, when they are talking about percentage, you should take complete values, means 100% is a complete round fair value. So, instead if they will give, instead of percentages, if they will give in terms of degrees, you should consider 360 degrees. Very simple logic. If they give percentage, 100% is their monthly salary. If they give in terms of degrees, 360 degrees should be considered as 32,000. So, very simple. Sometimes they may give in terms of percentage or sometimes they may give in terms of degrees. So, be clear about the values. Now, let's say, here they have different categories, one is on grocery, education, cell bill, electricity, clothing, investment and miscellaneous expenses. So, they are all given in terms of some particular percentage, right? Now, let us read out the question. What is the est budget estimated by the family on clothing and grocery together? Okay, clothing and grocery. You just need to go with the diagram. So, let us say, Clothing and grocery together. How much is the grocery percentage? The uh, family is spending 20% on groceries. Okay, let me write it here. So, for groceries and clothing. So, for groceries, family is spending 20% plus for clothing, uh, family is spending 8%. Okay, so what will be the total here? 28%, right? 28% is the total value. Now, in, uh, what we need to calculate is how much is the estimated budget they are talking about. Now, we just need to calculate 28 percentage of what is their monthly salary. Always that monthly salary will be 100 percent, right? So, you just need to calculate 28 percentage of 32,000. So, very simple guys, here uh, 28 percentage of 32,000, instead of considering 28 percent, so can I consider 30 percent? So, if I consider 30 percent, 30 percent will be, it is very easy to calculate 30 percent because 0, 0 will get cancelled, 30 percentage of 320 which is equals to 32, 3 times just you need to, sorry, 32,000, right? So, 32, 3 times you need to consider which is nothing but 9,600, right? Now, what is 2 percent value? So, if you subtract 32 minus 2, you will get 28 percentage. So, it is very easy to calculate 2 percentage of 320. What is 2 percentage of 320? It is nothing but 640. So, if you subtract 30 minus 2, you will get 28 percentage. Then what is 9600 minus 640? Is it, uh, if, if you remove 600 from 9600, it will be 9000 minus 40, which means 8960. 8960. This is what answer for the First question here, they are asking us to find for clothing and grocery, what will be the estimated budget by the family? So, for 28% of 32,000. So, even for calculations, no need to depend on calculators always. Okay. So, you just need to calculate directly by using a basic calculation methods. So, final answer is 8960. That's it. Now, let's go with the new question. I hope you all are clear with this particular first question. Let's go with the second one. 
ओके वॉट इज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ड्यू टू सडन मैरिज अ फैमिली इनकर्स मिसलिनियस एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड फोर्टी इन टोटल मीन्स ड्यू टू सडन मैरिज अ फैमिली इनकर्स मिसलिनियस एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ थ्री थाउजेंड फोर्टी इन टोटल मीन्स टोटल मिसलिनियस एक्सपेंसिस इज थ्री थाउजेंड फोर्टी हाउ मच इज द इनक्रीज इन द अमाउंट अंडर द हेड फ्रॉम दट ऑफ एस्टिमेटेड बजेट actually they made one particular budget for miscellaneous charges so due to sudden uh, uh, i mean marriage family needs some more expenses so here actually what is miscellaneous percentage share they have given 7 percentage actual miscellaneous expenses is 7 percentage of how much 30 2000 this is what their estimated budget okay so let's try to calculate this 7 percentage of 30 Two thousand. So zero zero will get cancelled. When you are talking about percentages, we discuss so many times about percentage trick. Zero zero cancel. You just need to multiply seven with thirty two. Already we have one zero here. I am writing that zero thirty two seven times. You can write seven two times is fourteen. Seven three times is twenty one. We have one carry over twenty two. So this is what their actual estimated budget, right? Now what is their uh, what is their miscellaneous due to uh, sudden marriage means three thousand forty. They are asking us to find how much more that expenses got increase. What is the difference? So you just need to do thousand forty minus two thousand two forty. Okay, thousand forty minus two thousand two forty, which is equals to eight hundred. This is what the difference. Now here the question, if you observe, how much is the increase in the amount under this head from the budgeted? So answer is eight hundred. Which option is correct? Option three is correct. Okay, I hope you all are uh, clear with this particular second question. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let me take the third one. Okay, so what is the third question they are talking about? The family actually paid four six seven two rupees on grocery. What is the difference in the amount budgeted and spent on grocery? The same pattern of question here, but just only they are changing the values. So actually, what is the grocery percentage? So we can say that twenty percentage of thirty two thousand. Twenty percentage of thirty two thousand. So zero zero will get cancelled. What is twenty percentage of thirty two thousand? Thirty two two times is sixty four two zeros left out. So this is what grocery budget that family estimated. But here, if you observe, the family actually paid four six seven two. Okay. Now what you need to calculate is the difference here. Okay. Actual budget is six thousand four hundred, but actually family paid four thousand six hundred and seventy two on. Grocery. Now they are talking about what is the difference? Difference. So obviously, I can say that six thousand four hundred minus four thousand six hundred seventy-two. What will be the difference here? If you observe, the difference is one seven two eight. So seventeen hundred and twenty-eight is the difference between these two values. Now check with the options here. We have option A, option B. So no options are matching here. So Finally, you need to select option five. What is our option five here? Okay, none of these because here we got it as seven seventeen hundred and twenty eight, and don't uh, select this option which is near to that. So here we need exact value seventeen hundred and twenty eight, which is none of these. I hope you all are clear with this question. Let's move on to the next one. What is the fourth question here? Let me erase this. Here the fourth question is. What is the difference in the amount estimated by the family on electricity and cell bill? So, what is the electricity percentage? If you observe here, electricity percentage is nineteen and cell bill is six percentage. So, electricity percentage is nineteen and cell bill is six percentage. Here, the difference in the amount estimated by the family on electricity and cell bill. So, here they are talking about in the fourth question the difference of electricity bill. And cell bill. So, what is the difference between electricity bill and cell bill? Electricity bill is nineteen percentage, and cell bill is uh, here we have six percentage. What is the difference here? Difference I can say that it is thirteen percentage. So, what is thirteen percentage of here? The value is thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand is the monthly salary. You can you can calculate what is thirteen percentage of thirty two thousand. What is thirteen percentage of thirty two thousand? So simply you can calculate ten percent first and three percent. Okay. So what is ten percent of thirty two thousand? What is ten percent of thirty two thousand? Here zero zero will gets 
cancel. So 10% of 32,000 is 3,200, right? 3,200. Now what is 3%? 3% 3 of 320. We can say that it is uh, 960. So if you add these two value, 0, 6, okay, here 11, 4, 1, 6, 0. So is there option here, 4, 1, 6, 0? Yeah, 4, 1, 6, 0. Option 2 is correct. Okay, so this is how we need to analyze the question and we need to solve the question. Let's move on to the final question, fifth question we have. Okay. Yeah. What is the fifth question here? Let's try to solve this fifth question as well. The family saved 1920 rupees. Okay. The family saved. 1920 rupees on their electricity bill as it was less than the estimated budget what is the percentage of electricity bill amount of the total salary so this is very very important here they are talking about what is the percentage of electricity bill out of the total monthly salary first let's try to analyze the electricity bill estimated budget for electricity bill here what is the uh, percentage for electricity bill so 19 percentage right so i can say that 19 percentage of 32,000. Let's try to calculate. Why? Because we need to know how much is the estimated uh, amount for the electricity, right? So, 19 percentage of 32,000. So, 19 percentage of 32,000. Better calculate if you want 19,000. So, if you directly calculate, your uh, calculations might be complicated. So, first calculate 20 percentage of 32,000. So, what is 20 percentage of 32,000 here? 0, 0 will get cancelled. We have two zeros and 32 two times is 64. So, 20 percentage of 32,000 is 6,400, right? 6,400. Yeah. Next, if you remove 1 percent, 1 percent of 32,000. So, what is 1 percent of 32,000? 320. So, if you remove that, you will get Okay, 20 minus 1, 19 percentage. So, 19 percentage value will get it directly here. 6400 minus 320. Here, what will be the value here? 300 if you remove, 6100, 6080, right? 6080. Now, this is what the electricity bill that family estimated. Now, what's the question here? Family saved 1920. So family saved 1920 means they, did, they are not spending this complete 6080 rupees. They saved 1920 from this estimated budget. So, if you remove this, we will get to know how much the family is spending on the electricity. So, if you remove 1920 from this particular value, so here 0, 8 minus 2 is 6, here 10 minus uh, 9 is 1. So, here 5 minus 1 is 4. So, 4, 1, 6, 0 is the amount that family spend. Correct? Now, if you observe family spend, if you observe, this is the amount that family is spending, but they are not asking about how much amount is family spending, how much percentage of electricity bill of the amount of total salary. So, this is what the amount that family is spending. So, let me, let me write this calculation here. So, they are asking about how much percentage. So, this value 4160 divided by, they are comparing with what? Total salary. So, total salary is 32,000 into 100. This gives our answer. Let's try to cancel it out here. Two zeros, two zeros. Here, one zero, one zero will get cancelled. 32, 32 one time. 32 one time is 32. Here, reminder is 96. 96 means 32 three times. So, I can say that it is 30 percentage. How much amount percentage of electricity bill to the total salary is 13 percentage. We have an option. Option 4. So, this is how you need to solve questions from data interpretation. So, guys, I suggest to all the students before going to solve data interpretation question. So, first you just need to have a small idea about percentages concept, profit and loss concept and some general concepts in aptitude. So, that it will be easy for you to understand and analyze the question and it is easy for you to solve this by using these calculations as well. So, I suggest before going to solve data interpretation, try to watch the videos of percentages and profit and loss as well. So, this is how we can solve the questions of pie chart and there will be a definite and guarantee question that will be given in TSS NQT based on any of these graphs, whatever the graphs uh, we discussed on starting. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you all. I hope you like this video. So, I, as I said, 
okay post your uh, topic names that, uh, that you have doubts so that we'll try to make a video on those particular topics we are here to help you out to clear your competitive exams thank you